Hello and warm greetings. Time to present the latest English news at this time from Khashid Global Network. A relatively heavy explosion rocked Kabul city this afternoon. A side bomber detonated his explosive in the second police district of city, killing himself only in a premature blast. Najib Danish, deputy spokesman for the Ministry of Interior, confirmed that a side bomber detonated his explosive near the Ministry of Finance and Police District. He said there were no casualties as a result of the attack and only the side bomber was killed. Security official police district second earlier confirmed that two side bombers were looking to attack a government compound in the city but were killed after their explosive went off prematurely. The official further added that only two side bombers were killed in the incident and there are no reports of casualties to civilians or security personnel. The area where the incident has taken place is a housing several ministry compounds and is located close to the presidential palace. Meanwhile, at least 15 Taliban insurgents were killed in a military operation in central Orizgan province on Tuesday, 205 Atal military corps said in a statement on Wednesday. In addition, eight added insurgents were injured. The operation under the name of Tufan 53 was launched in Miando, Shin, Gola and Darshang areas of the Dehruhud district to clear the area of insurgents. Read the statement, adding that the operation is still ongoing. The statement says the security forces also discovered weapons and explosive devices during the operation. However, the statement did not provide any details on casualties among the security forces. Cricket of national captain of national cricket team has urged nation not to celebrate wins by firing arms as it could change the moment of happiness into soar. The captain of the cricket national team, who is currently in India with the rest of the team members for ICC T20 World Camp, has released a video message online expressing players' grief over the loss of life in Jalalabad due to celebratory fight last night. Sonic Zai says when Afghanistan wins a game, whether it is cricket, football or any other game, it should be celebrated in good ways, not by firing arms. Due to these shots, we have been burying in fight from over three to thirty-five years, uh, he added. And President Mohammad Ashafghani on Wednesday approved the restoration work of the historic Dalal Aman Palace in capital Kabul. The president informed regarding the approval of the restoration work of the palace in an online statement posted on official Twitter account. Shadow Dal Aman Palace is a reminder of our darkest days. Thus, I have approved his restoration work today in the post reads. The palace received serious damages during the civil war, which erupted following the withdrawal of the Soviet forces from the country. Located in the outskirts of capital in the west, the palace was mainly damaged after it was used for military purposes, including a bank uh, by the rival jihadist groups during the civil war in the early 90s. Alaman Palace and Taj Beg Palace were constructed during the Kingdom of King Amanullah Khan during 1919 to 1929. It was used as a defense department during the Soviet times and was partially damaged during the military combat by Shahnawaz Tanai against Dr. Najibullah, former Afghan president. That is it for now. Thanks for joining. Good night.